record at 3,200 yards by 12 seconds. He ran 850. A four-time NC2A All-American and a 1980 Olympian. He still holds the school records at Oregon. Can you believe this? 13, 14, 80 for five and 27, 50, 82 for 10. The American collegiate record holder. He was atop the 5,000 meter list and fourth in the world in 1981. He uh, was an incredibly gutsy runner, went, gave it his all, was not afraid to take the lead, was not intimidated at a very young age to be running against the Europeans and Africans in Europe. So impressive in that way. He ran for the Santa Monica Track Club after he left the University of Oregon and was what we would call a ballsy runner. And uh, he has missed greatly in the running community, state of Oregon, and Eugene miss him greatly. Okay, time for an, an event that I know he would love. And we've got some good ones in here. There's James Gormley. He's a senior from the University of Oregon, representing Great Britain, 25 years old, a 341, 25, 1500 man, sixth in the Pac-12 in the 1500 last year. Elliot Cook, you saw a little bit earlier, he's competing unattached. Elliot uh, was first in the Pac-12 800 last year and fourth in the 1500, 338.92. He Elliot Cook took seventh in the NC2A Indoor Mile this past winter, and that was his last race in a duck uniform for the time being. Cathal Doyle from Portland is also a stud, 338.05. This is his first race this year. Matt Strangio, he's a 339.11 man. He's uh, also run 1331.87 for 5,000. And we're off and running. This should be a good one. Interesting to see both how this will tactically unfold. And let's not forget, by the way, Miguel Coca who is that man from Adam State currently in second. He's a 342-98 man, and he was the one, he won the NCAA Division II mile indoors this year and was second in the 3,000. So Miguel Coca, when you see him there in second, he is a real deal. Paul Free setting the pace. Hopefully it's under 45 for 300. And it is 43-46, game on, let's go. Miguel Coca, right behind him there. And then Cathal Doyle, his first race of the season. Cathal Doyle, a 338.05 guy. And also in the mix there is Matt Strangio. Now Matt Strangio is a 151-800 man but I've never seen him kind of run down anybody. Uh, and there's always a time and place for that. Let's see if it happens here. He's the gentleman currently in third. Strangio and Doyle, Elliot Cook in the yellow. And there goes Strangio, I love it. So 142.7 at 700, that was a 59.3. So now they're running about 342, 1500 pace. Paul Free looking around. Elliot Cook in yellow looks really smooth. Looks very comfortable there. And now Paul Free gets off, and it's going to be Strangio and Coca and Elliot Cook, who looks really fabulous, and Cathal Doyle. And now moving up also is Jonathan, Jonathan Shields from Boise State. But Strangio probably feels that he has to push this thing because he's not a good kicker. 
So Strangio comes up with one lap to go. We're gonna see some PRs in this race. Strangio, Coca, Elliot Cook looking good. Catville Doyle in his first race of the, of the, of the year. And Jonathan Shields still in it. Strangio knows he has to push it hard here because he doesn't have the kick. Cathal Doyle coming up on his outside. Elliot Cook still looks great. 200 meters to go. Coca still in it. And here comes Elliot Cook and Cathal Doyle covers that move. It's going to be into the stretch. And look out for Jonathan Shields of Boise State who's trying to summon some move. Strangio is now being passed by Cook. The Pac-12 800 meter champion will not be headed. And Elliot Cook is gonna turn in a, wow. We're running under 340 today. Really nice, 56-24, last lap. 339-52 for Elliot Cook. And Cathal Doyle, 339.96. Matt Strangio did a great job in making this race. Everybody should thank him. 340.03. And Miguel Coca from Adams State, lifetime best. So Strangio there in the front knew he had to push it because he doesn't have the kick. Elliot Cook covers everything beautifully. Great race tactics. Doyle tries to move and go with Cook, but doesn't have the legs. And Elliot Cook, my gosh, he is going to be something for Oregon next season. Here we see it again. And a really nice performance for Elliot Cook. Cook and Doyle, both under 57 for that last lap. 